Just because your boy's big doesn't mean he's big off fast food. Your boy can cook. You know what I'm saying? Open your mind to witness a phenomenon Estilo diferente that can never be compared to none Pollo frito con tortillas de harina Always stay cooking, the studio is my cocina No mercy when it comes to this music Everybody say they wreck, well they gonna have to prove it Better sweet cause there's no sugar added Invested in some chairs cause these bottles couldn't stand me Punch lines like celebrities with Federico A 16 ball verse the equivalent of a kilo Drop an EP cause my albums were too lethal Oh, hey YouTube, welcome back to another video, uh, yeah, we're making tacos today, you're gonna cook with me, you know what I'm saying, just cause your boy's big doesn't mean he's big off fast food, your boy can cook, you know what I'm saying, shout out to my mom, shout out my, to my dad, and my uncles, you know what I'm saying, they're the ones that taught me how to cook, so, more into that in a minute, so, let's get into the video, now, like I said, your boy can cook, you know what I'm saying, and what better way to show y'all with some something easy, something simple, some tacos. And the lighting is horrible in this room. We're gonna make them the old school way, the way I was taught how to make them, something simple, something easy, something delicious, you know what I'm saying? Cause savor the flavor, you know what I'm saying? But before we get this video started, make sure you hit like, share, subscribe, comment down in the video, let me know what you think at the end. Make sure you stay tuned to the end so you can see the final product. All right, so come cook with me. Let's get it cracking. First things first, gotta wash the hands before we get started. There, all clean. Now for this recipe, we're gonna use a 80, the, the ground beef, 80% lean, 20% fat. Keep it healthy and this is all natural too. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta, just the way I like to eat. Now, I gotta sharpen my knife. Wash it off, rinse it off. Just so we can work with a good solid knife. You know what I'm saying? Sharp. I was sure. All right, I got everything in the pot, you know what I'm saying? We got it ready to go, we're gonna leave it like that, let it cook, let it Ingredients, basic, you know what I'm saying? Garlic salt, not a substitute for garlic, but it don't have to do, you know what I'm saying? Never have too much garlic. Paprika, give it that little, you know, pizzazz. And some black pepper. Now let's let it cook and we'll get back to that. Let's go get, let's get to the veggies. Right, time for the veggies. Now we're only gonna do one onion because it's not a lot of meat that I'm cooking. It's not a lot of what I'm feeding. Usually if I feed more, but I add more. You know what I'm saying? Cut the ends off. Peel off the outer layer. Now I'm gonna save a little bit of the onion for the guacamole. Not a lot, just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Put the rest in another bowl because I'm gonna put it, about to put it in the meat. Well, the meat's already cooking, so we're gonna go ahead and add these onions in there because you gotta do it while it's do it while it's cooking, so it absorbs, it absorbs that oniony flavor. You know what I mean? And it reduce and cook down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So let's let that cook and we'll get back to it right now. Now I got my tomatoes. Like I said, I like to cut everything small. The smaller, the better. That way you don't get big old chunks when you bite into your food or your, or your, or your guacamole. You know what I'm saying? Small as possible. Now 
Now, like I said, tomatoes, I like to cut them small, so we're gonna cross cut them. Just be very careful if you have a sharp knife like mine. Turn it around. Alright, turn it sideways. Small pieces. Now we're gonna cut our avocados. These are nice and soft and ripe, so they're good to go. See how beautiful that looks? See how beautiful that looks? Mm. Then you go twist, comes out. Now, when, you, when I cut avocados, I do them, like I said, small pieces. Because I don't want big old chunks when I go to bite, you know what I mean? Kind of want the food to blend in. And again, we're cutting a cross section, you know what I mean, cubes. See that? Nice and cute. Then you get a big old spoon. And there you go. Avocado. Use your spoon, make sure you scrape everything you can scrape out of there. Because the avocados are pretty petty. Now, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna get to the finished product in three, two, one. The important thing we need to finish this guacamole up is some lemon. You know what I'm saying? Lemon, lime, whatever you got laying around. Just make sure you ain't got no seeds in it because nobody likes seeds. Alright. Get the juice in there. Make sure it hits on all levels. Now tell me that don't look beautiful. Mm. Check out our meat. Ooh so we don't have too many onions in there. We gotta chop it up nicely so we can get the most out of this meat. So it has a big old chunks in there when you bite. And that way, depending on how many people you gotta feed too, you know what I'm saying? It stretches the meat out a little bit more. The more you chop it up. All right, it's pretty much done. We're gonna let this set. See, there's not a lot of fat in there. The way I like it, just enough. Now we're gonna wait for our oil to heat up. You know what I'm saying? And gotta, I use olive oil, my per, my personal preference. You can use whatever you'd like. Now me personally, depends on how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? I'll either heat up the tortillas on the comal, or right now I feel like I don't want a crispy taco, so we're gonna go ahead and fry them. I mean, not too much, just enough to get in a good crunch and not too oily either. So, let's get to it. These are, these are the tortillas we're using. I usually buy like the fresh ones in the coolers, but they ran out by the time I got there. So, this will work just as good. You know what I'm saying? Taco shells came out, you know, pretty good. Hopefully, we'll find out when I put them all together. Because sometimes you overcook them and no good. But we'll see. And this is the finished product. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of everything. Classic. You know what I'm saying? You can't have tacos without a soda mexicana. I'm, I'm preferably on the Pontana. My wife there likes the Coca-Cola. The taste test.
I wish I could be here and taste that. Delicious. So I'm gonna get back to this, man. I'll get back to y'all later. Nice <sighs> cold. That's it for the cooking video, YouTube. If you like what y'all saw, y'all wanna see more of that. It's just something I threw out there, simple, easy, good food to make. Y'all wanna see more of that? Drop me in the comment, drop a comment down below. Tell me yes, like this video, and uh, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Till next time, man, this is the One Man Click. This has been One Man Click TV, and you've been cooking with me, Mr. Savor the Flavor. Till next time.